Here we go again, guys, with a new episode of Hot Topic. I'm Gary Seven, MT, for the GTA Series Videos crew. And in today's show, we'll look at all the latest announcements from Rockstar Games on the new features and contents for the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One versions of GTA 5. We already know that the new gen versions of the game will have enhanced graphics, better foliage systems, more animals and so on, but everyone who pre-orders the game will also get one million dollars in GTA bonus cash, 500,000 respectively on GTA 5 and GTA Online. But today, Rockstar released screenshots and more info about content that will be exclusive for returning players from past gen consoles. To reward those fans coming back to the newer Los Santos, Rockstar Games planned to release new vehicles, weapons, side missions, and more. First of all, all the contents that we'll be reviewing will be exclusive content, available only on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. This content won't be available for the old gen console, but Rockstar Games won't forget about all the loyal fans and players on PS3 and Xbox 360, and announced that more updates will be available in the future for GTA Online across all platforms, old gen and new systems. All who didn't get the chance to buy a special or collector's edition of GTA 5 for Xbox 360 or PlayStation 3 will have the opportunity to buy all that content on PS4, Xbox One, and PC through in-game cash. All the weapons, outfits, tattoos, and vehicles in GTA Online will be on sale for these players along with the classic GTA parent characters and more. Right now, it's not clear how single-player exclusive features like the stunt plane trials could be bought through in-game cash, but all you'll probably have to do is just buy a new Collector's Edition DLC pack to unlock all those goodies. All the players who instead already bought a Special or Collector's Edition of GTA 5 will automatically have those items unlocked and accessible when upgrading to one of the new systems. Tied to new events and challenges in Los Santos and Blaine County, players will be able to unlock the menacing Imponte Duke of Death, shown in a screenshot with Trevor leaning on it. The Duke of Death is a near indestructible mean black matte machine with additional lights on the roof and all the windows armored, kinda a mix of the 1969 Pontiac GTO from The Punisher, Blade's 1968 Charger, and Mel Gibson's Ford Falcon in Mad Max. The official description of the images states that trouble ensues as soon as you stumble upon this vehicle. So expect this murder buggy to be tied to mayhem missions involving heavy weapons and a lot of enemies. Another vehicle announced is the Dodo Seaplane that we already saw in a couple of frames in the first GTA 5 trail. But we'll get into the dropped and beta content of GTA 5 in a future episode of Hot Topic. The image shown by Rockstar Games shows a classic seaplane in white, black, and red flying over a yacht near the Del Perro Pier, the same yacht that appears during the mission Daddy's Little Girl in the game. At the moment, we don't know if the yacht is used as an adornment to make the photo more appealing or if it will be tied in some way with the dodo. What we do know is that Rockstar announced that collecting the dodo may require a little firepower. And inside the seaplane, we can see Trevor, so the dodo might be the reward for a mission involving the Meriwether, or the seaplane could just be a vehicle available inside a restricted area. Together with the blimp, that is already drivable for all the players who bought the special or collector's edition of GTA 5 for PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360, Rockstar will add a new, faster, and more maneuverable blimp provided by the Zero Gas Company. Other vehicles announced are the stock cars tied to a new series of races where you have to drive a muscle stock car to unlock a custom muscle car with four different liveries full of logos from some of the companies created by Rockstar Games for the GTA series. In this shot, we can also see a new returning vehicle along with the already available Dominators and Gauntlets. We're talking about our most beloved muscle car, the Stallion, produced in GTA 5 by D-Class, not by Classic like in GTA 4. 
Completing the new wildlife photography challenge, which requires Franklin to take photos of the new species of animals added in this new version of the game, you can unlock a new submarine called the Kraken Sub. Named after a mythical sea creature, an iconic colossal octopus mentioned in tons of movies, TV series, and books. The Kraken sub appears to be a smaller and faster submarine and will probably be more maneuverable than the one currently available in GTA 5. Other vehicles are the Cheval Marshal, a monster truck based on the Picador, and this will be the second monster truck of the game together with Vapid's The Liberator, released by Rockstar during the Independence Day Special Limited DLC, which was free in GTA 5 and for sale in GTA Online for $742,014. Top of the food chain! There's also an exclusive Go Go Monkey blister for returning players and new monkey outfits for everyone that is unlockable. By locating and photographing every monkey mosaic in town painted by some mysterious street artist, the monkey suit is yours. Both the blister and the outfit could be tied to the Go Go Space Monkey minigame from GTA San Andreas and the fictitious movie Space Monkey 3D promoted across Los Santos in GTA 5. Two new weapons will be available for returning players. The first is the futuristic rail gun which is a high-powered, high-velocity, experimental military tech rifle, equipped with explosive ammunition that will also be used with its own set of shooting range challenges inside the two ammunition shooting ranges. Together with the railgun, players will also receive a brutal melee weapon, the hatchet. This weapon will be a short wood and metal hatchet, so we can expect it to have the same animations as the hammer. Together with all the new side missions we already talked about, Michael will have a new side mission that will unlock two new noir style filters. One filter will surely be available only for GTA 5 and will give the story mode gameplay a gritty, old school crime classic style. This filter will probably be similar to the one already available in LA Noir that allows the players to play all the storyline in black and white, or the one in GTA The Lost and Damned that adds a grainy filter over all the screens, making this chapter of the GTA 4 trilogy pretty damn dark. The other filter instead is tied to Snapmatic, and probably, and this is just a guess, it could be used in GTA Online. The mission will be tied to Michael, and probably the cinema industry, due to the fact that the description of the picture states, get to the bottom of a murder mystery that strikes right at the heart of Los Santos' most cherished industry. In the screenshot released by Rockstar, we can see a message on a wall stating, Old Fred acts nice, but it ain't so. Probably like the Leonora Johnson letter scraps, tied to Franklin in GTA 5, Michael will have to follow a trail of cryptic clues to unravel a murder mystery by finding all the writings and maybe take a picture of them to later unlock some final mission where the mystery gets solved. There's also going to be more content for all new and returning players to discover, including a range of classic GTA vehicles. But the GTA gods will only allow these secrets to come to light when we have the game in our hands. Now let's shift gears to GTA Online. Thanks to Rockstar, we can now offer official info about the debated character transfer system. This will allow relocation of online characters to the new platform of your choice. First of all, as we already stated before, this will be a one-time only transfer affording players the chance to copy, not move, your character progressions to the platform of your choice between PlayStation 4, Xbox One, or PC. And once you have your copy, you can continue playing with your character on PS3 or Xbox 360. Oh, and just so you know, you'll need a Rockstar Games Social Club account to do it. However, the progress you make while playing is not shared to the character transferred to your new platform. Also, if you are planning to play on new platforms and PC, remember that you cannot transfer the same character to both the console and PC. So, you'd better start playing with your second character, uh, if you don't want to start from the tutorial once GTA 5 for PC is available. 
Continuing with GTA Online, the jobs created and published using the Creator Tool will transfer over to the new platform so you and your friends can continue playing your creations. But this won't happen with leaderboards, playlists, bookmarks, or snapmatics, which have to unfortunately remain tied to the platform they were created on. And one more thing about this tool. Rockstar said, get ready to take all new high-res snapmatics. Now that's something I want to see. Official PlayStation Magazine also speculates that GTA 5 for PS4 will run at a native resolution of 1920 by 1080. But this is not an official statement from Rockstar, so take it with a grain of salt. Expect also for the game to run at 30 FPS, as open world games are proving to taxing for 60 FPS, even on new gen consoles. And now it's time for your best questions and ideas. First, a question from MJ Joseph, asking if Rockstar will put action on or underwater. Well, Joseph, they probably will. In a pre-release interview with CVG, Leslie Benzies made it clear that after the release of the first batch of content, they'll start looking at some other things, and underwater is an area that they might utilize in the future. Next, Mr. Two Kills asks about the possibility of a GTA release on PS Vita. We already have various portable GTAs. The most famous are undoubtedly Liberty and Vice City stories. But GTA Advance and Chinatown Wars were also pretty cool games. Liberty and Vice City stories have already demonstrated that a full 3D GTA game is possible on portable systems. Those games were developed for the PSP, but the PS Vita is a lot more powerful than a PSP. So yeah, a new portable GTA could arrive on PS Vita. What's more, GTA might just be the killer application Sony needs to generate buzz and attract developers to the PS Vita platform. Aw, oh, come on girls, get with the program. Our final query is from RCA Man 100 who's wondering if Rockstar will ever cut the cops from GTA Online. Now this feature was available in GTA 4, and we were thinking instead of dropping the cops, why not give players the option to host free modes without cops? This way, online gaming would get a real kick in the pants, allowing for frenzied gang fights and God knows what else, without having to worry about the pigs spoiling the fun. The only downside is that sans the fuzz, the awards in GTA Online become far too easy to get. And for that reason, if nothing else, Rockstar probably won't let that one off the chain. And that's a wrap for this episode of Hot Topic. Stay tuned for more details in weeks to come leading up to the November 18th launch on PS4 and Xbox One. Also stay with us for a new series of Hot Topics focused on removed and beta content of the GTA series starting with GTA 3 up to the already mentioned GTA 5. This was Gary7MT for the GTA series videos crew. Peace out.